Welcome everyone to Glaze Game Gestures episode 12. I'd like to talk to you guys about the Xbox 360 and I have a black uh, slim version and uh, let me just get right to it. <coughs> I bought this on offer up probably about two, three months ago for 20 bucks. $20, yeah, I know. These things are going for super cheap right now. I understand it's like, you know what, yeah, the uh, two consoles prior now to the newest one that's out, but I mean, there's still great games that are on this thing, and I will get to that in a little bit. Um, <coughs> I noticed when I turned it on that I only had four gigabytes of hard drive. I was missing the uh, internal hard drive. So I opened it up, I picked one up at a retro game store for maybe like 25 bucks. It's 250 gigabytes now. I never have to worry about storage space on this thing. Um, I really like the design, how it kind of curves right here. This is one that I had um, when these initially came out at launch, or at least the, uh, the S series, not the original white one. But uh, there's so many cool different consoles. You know, they have the, uh, there's a Halo one, a Gears of War, and I want that R2-D2 one. I love that thing. It's so cool looking. But, uh, you know, it's nice that obviously it has different uh, USB ports. It has the Ethernet in case you want to do a wired Internet. And obviously it has the uh, HDMI as well. And the, uh, the Xbox 360S series, it's a little lighter compared to the other one. And uh, the only thing that's odd that I don't like, which is kind of unfortunate, is this thing still goes for the power adapter. $30. I paid $30 just for a power adapter. But anyway, it works. I have no issues with it. I tried to retrieve my old uh, Xbox 360 uh, profile gamer tag on here, but for some reason I wasn't able to retrieve it. I like that you can put it flat or you can put it vertically. But I feel like the vertical, I mean, I mean, yeah, it's a little bit of a space saver if you have other consoles to put next to it, but I don't know. I, I always feel as if my consoles are gonna tip over, so I like to have them flat. And then it's also easier to have the disk drive just coming out straight rather than on its side, you know? The fans on here work really well. It's relatively quiet. I like how in just about every aspect of this thing, there is some sort of ventilation on here. And it's, it's much a sleeker uh, version than the original white with the external hard drive. Although I do like the original one because then if you're at your buddy's house and you're like, oh, I want to take my hard drive home so I can play the game, it was that easy. You know, super cool. Xbox 360. Now would be the time to start collecting for this thing because these games are just, they're so good and they're so cheap right now. I know there's always the fear of that red ring of death, but, you know, for 20 bucks, um, I'm willing to go that extra mile, you know, to play this game and play this console. I, I love this thing. I haven't really given it that much of a go at yet since I've had it. I need to, hang on, I'm grabbing the controller, of course. I love this thing too. Uh, I had to get a different external uh, battery pack. These things are pretty cheap. They're only like anywhere between five to six bucks. It's usually this portion is what goes out, not this portion, luckily. Otherwise, you'd have to get a completely new controller. But, you know, you can go to the dollar store and get AA batteries. But, uh, you know, I plugged it in, worked, I cleaned it. I love the asymmetrical look. I love how it feels, the ergonomics in my hand. I love the, uh, and then you can get the keypad so you can text your buddies back in the day on the games. Um, they got rid of the white and the black button. It's just the plain start and select. They obviously have the middle button so you can go to the dashboard. They essentially, I feel like, moved the white and the black buttons up here, the left and right buttons. Triggers feel good. A, X, B, and the Y, it's the same as it was on the original controller. I feel like these are a little stiffer, but I kind of like that for this particular controller. I like the D-pad more so on this one compared to the original, but I feel like I like maybe the looser joystick on the older Xbox rather than this, but this is still a great controller. It's much smaller. I like that they went with a smaller controller. It kind of reminds me of like the size of the uh, GameCube controller per se, but really fun console. I like this thing, and obviously... If I had the different battery pack, I can charge it as well. Here's the sync button. This is just a really cool, great feeling uh, controller. <clears throat> that, let me get into uh, my loose games first before I show you my Mox games. Alan Wake. A, uh, this is a really, it's kind of like a Stephen King like horror fiction type novel that you basically write and play at the same time. It's like a little more polished Resident Evil-y type of a uh, story. It's really cool. I, I'm barely even past like the first little mission. It's like the lighthouse and then I go onto like a barge to go into some sort of like town. And uh, I'm with my wife. I think it's some sort of like dream at, the, at uh, that moment in time in the game. But it's a really cool dark kind of game. You use your flashlight to flash it on uh, like, you know, ghosts and shadows and then you shoot them. And it's, it's relatively fast paced, but it's also slow. You have to kind of 
calculate what you're going to do, but it's super fun. Bioshock. Come on. I, I honestly don't really necessarily know too much about Bioshock, but I'd like to get into them. I remember seeing buddies play these, and they looked really, really fun. Kind of like a run-and-gun grappling type shooter. Diablo, an original kind of like PC type game. And uh, I think this is kind of like a, a red box kind of preventative uh, duplication. A little uh, QR code, but hey, I picked it up for like a couple bucks. Diablo, really cool kind of MMO uh, aspect to it, like a gauntlet per se. But I'm stoked to play that, you know, either by myself or hopefully get another controller soon and play that with buddies. Gears of War 2, Gears of War 3, run and gun alien shooters, you can't go wrong. Speaking of alien shooters, I love my Halo. I have Halo 4. I need to get the... Uh, I need to get the um, jewel case for it, but anyway, let me show you the box ones. I am pretty happy to say I have a decent amount of uh, 360 games because you can find them in relatively uh, good shape for pretty cheap. It just really depends on the title, but for the most part. Anyway, Red Dead Redemption, a great sequel to the original Red Dead Revolver on PS2. I absolutely love that game. I need to get my hands on that one. I loved this one as well. I had the zombie one as well uh, growing up when uh, it originally came out, but I managed to find this super cheap. It has the map in here and everything. It's complete in box. I'm happy about it. I could care less whether it has the zombie one on here or not. I'm happy to play it again because I really liked this one. Um, I started the uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, but I just felt like there was just way, way too much uh, to dive into and try, but I'll have to maybe you know give myself some time to do it at some point. Anyway. Rayman Legends. Just picked this one up recently. Not for $20. Actually, the GameStop near me didn't have enough mall traffic, as they were stating, and they didn't. Uh, they were going out of business. And this was like 90% off, so I think I got it for like 2 $3. But uh, yeah, I, I love my Rayman. My platformers are fun. Looking forward to getting into that. Prototype. This kind of reminded me of like Infamous, per se. Like a little hack and slashy, kind of run and gunny you know, God of War type thing, but I don't really don't know too much about it. I got it at a thrift store, super cheap, happy to get into it. It's an Activision game, also made by THX, which is a uh, Lucasfilm company, but anyway, let me move on. Orange Box, I love playing Portal. Portal was really fun, and I used to love playing Half-Life Counter-Strike on uh, the PC back in the day before people started hacking it and cheating and Admittedly, I don't think I've ever played any of the other Half-Life or Team Fortress 2, but same thing. I picked this up through a store. Super cheap. It's complete in box. It's got the manual and everything. I'm happy to start playing this one. Ninja Gaiden. We all know Ninja Gaiden ever since the original NES. And they had it on uh, Game Gear. And then they had it on... Uh, it was on Super Nintendo, which was the trilogy. You know? And then they had it on the original Xbox. It's been ported so many different ways. It's such a fun game. Same thing. I got it at the same GameStop that was going out of business. And, you know... I got it for like a dollar. Like, you can't beat that. You know, I'm looking forward to getting into this and playing it as well. Oh, here we go. All sales are final, it says. Uh, I got it for Ninja Gaiden. I got for $1.30. And Rayman, I got for $2 flat plus tax, $3.30. Two games for $3.30. Xbox 360, come on. You can't beat that. L.A. Noir. This was really, really fun. Made by Rockstar. The same guys who do uh, <coughs> Grand Theft Auto. Um... This is a really cool game. I like the concept that you can either, you know, agree with somebody or you don't agree with them when you're trying to interrogate them. And I like that it has that noir aspect. In other words, it's taking place in like the 40s in L.A. It was a really cool um, strategic kind of shooter as well as an investigative kind of experience that uh, enthralled you in its own type of gameplay. A really cool game. I beat it a long time ago. I'm glad that I picked it up recently. Dual disc. Complete in box. I'm happy to play it again. I loved it. Maybe I'll try and, you know, either go the right route or I'll try and, I don't know. I don't know. I'm looking forward to seeing what I uh, decide that I'm going to do with this game. Loved it, though. Come on. Halo Reach. It's not in the best condition, but this was my favorite one to play online. ODST. This was, this was a, like, a basically a big version of, like, playing Firefight with your buddies. This was a lot of fun, too. You know, I mean... You can talk all day about Halo, or at least I can. <laughs> I love these games. And I picked up the Halo 3 like deluxe edition set, I think at like Goodwill. It's got everything, posters, everything, you know, like advertisements. And the discs are like pristine. They're in like pristine condition. The other side, you know, I mean, I think I got this for like 3 or $4. I think I got all of these maybe for like 12 bucks. Like, it just, you know... It's just amazing. I understand that it's an older console, but 
these are still such great games, and you can still play them just as you did then, you know, and I'm just happy to have those. Dante's Inferno, I think this was the first game that I bought with my 360 at the time because I wanted to test to make sure that the laser worked and I was able to play a game. I don't know too much about this, to be honest with you, to even really convey anything to you guys, but it, to me it kind of looked like a skyrim -y, Oblivion type meets like a Witcher, and I'm not necessarily sure if that's the right uh, game path, for me at least, but uh, by all means, if you guys have more information on it, please let me know in the comments. Devil May Cry 4, that way I can play it now uh, 3, 1, 2, 4 in order, the way that they're uh, supposed to be played according to, uh, you know, Google, but uh, it's complete in box. I got it super cheap at a retro game store, I think maybe for like 5 or 6 bucks. Crisis kind of reminds me of a prototype, a little more polished, like a Call of Duty type aspect. Same thing, I got this at a retro game store, maybe like 2, 3 bucks. Borderlands 2, I used to love playing this with my buddy. It kind of reminded me of like a really bizarre, like Left 4 Dead meets like Evolve kind of on like PS4 or uh, yeah, it, this was just, it was something else, like a really fun kind of run and gun, uh, you know, first person shooter. You know, I'm looking forward to getting into this, hopefully with a buddy someday. Bioshock 1 and 2, I'm happy to have these. You know, like I said, I watched buddies of mine play these and they looked like they were really, really fun. Kind of like a time splitter -y Z. you know, I don't really want to compare it to that because time splitters is its own realm of things, but these, you know, I'm happy that I have them in the case too. You know, they just, they look really fun. I, admittedly, I haven't really given too much time to my 360 because I just, I haven't had the time, but that's, that's not, you know, knock on wood. I want to make time for these games and I want to, uh, you know, film them so you guys can watch what I can get into as well and you guys can contribute your comments. So thank you for the support. I'm glad that I'm able to do this for you guys as well as for myself and, uh, you know, game on. Thanks for the support. Have a good day.